Hi friends, this is Selvijan here. Welcome to my networking channel. Hope all are doing good and safe. So here is the architecture where I connected R1 and R2. So both are in the different autonomous system number. So I'm going to show how to use EBGB multi-hub. So what is EBGB multi-hub? So if I want to peer with the loopback address, instead of directly connected interface, I'm going to peer with the loopback address. So loopback address, as you know, it is not directly connected, right? So it is always maximum of more than one hop away from this router. So that is the purpose of using EBG multi-hop. So here I connected two paths between R1 and R2. So I'm going to show using EBG multi-hop and update source loopback address how to load balance across different paths, right? So that is the benefit of BGP and EBG multi-hop. So now let us go to the individual router and configure the BGP neighbor relationship. Configuration mode router BGP 65101 and let us configure the neighbor so peering with the loopback address right so neighbor is 2.2.2 .2 so 2.2.2 .2 and the remote autonomous number is 65102 then i have to configure the loopback address update source loopback 0 so that means so just i am peering with the loopback so you have to specify the command update source loopback and third thing i have to configure the ebg multicap so EBG multi already told pairing with the loopback address it always mag more than one hop away. So I'm using the EBG multi hop followed by two. Similarly, the similar configuration I have to configure in R2. Go to configuration mode, router BGP 65102 and the neighbor command is 1.1.1. Right? That is the loopback address of R1 followed by the remote AS number that is 65101 followed by the update source loopback 0. Then I have to specify the EBG multi hub right? I'm pairing with the loopback, so it is always more than one hop away. So I'm pairing with the E using the EBG multi hub option. So this I already done. So now we can check the BGP neighbor relationship. Show IP BGP all summary. Show IP BGP all summary. So as you are seeing right, the neighbor is coming up. So, so we have successfully established the BGB neighbor relationship using the loopback address and using the EBGB multi -cup. So I already told why EBG multi -cup, since I am pairing with the loopback address it is always more than one hop away from the router. So that is the reason I am using EBG multi -cup on both R1 and R2. So updates of loopback address since I am pairing using the loopback address I am using the updates of loopback address. So now let us load balance between R1 and R2. How we can do that? I, I need to create a static route to the loopback pointing this as a next stop interface so how to do that go to the configuration and go to configuration mode create a static route ip route so i have to specify the loopback address 2.2.2 .2 and specify the mask 255.255.255 and the gateway i have to specify as the physical address that is 192.168.1.2 right 192.168.1.2 similarly there is another path, right? This is another path. 2.2 .2 is another path. So I have to specify 2.2. .2. So by doing this, I can load balance across different paths and it is also used for redundancy. Assume a single link goes down, we can use the backup as this link. So that is the benefit of using multiple paths between R1 and R2 in case of EBGB neighbor relationship, right? Similar configuration, I have to create a static route. So static route and the remote neighbor is 1.1.1 followed with a mask followed by the next stop address next stop address is the physical address right 192.168.1.1 similar way reaching 2.1 right so 191.1.1 and then another one is 2.1 that is a physical interface right next stop interface so i configure so now what is the command to check is show ip route static so this will show the loopback so for, for reaching this 2.2 .2 network right so for pairing with this loopback address there are two paths it can reach via 2.2 .2 and 1.2 so what it means is if a single interface goes down still the neighbor is reachable so even if i am using these two path multiple path between this router we can also load balance across different path so that means 50 percent traffic you can pass via this path and another 50 percent traffic again pass via this path so that is the benefit of creating the static route pointing to the next stop interface that means first thing we can do the load balancing and also it is used for a redundancy if a single link goes down we can use this as a backup path right so that is the benefit of using ebg multi hub and update source loopback between the r1 and r2 interface
so i hope you understood thanks for watching please subscribe me for more videos thank you have a wonderful day